right there we got a big old beaver pond flooded out the whole trail system get back in there and uh, last couple of years we haven't been able to get back in here uh, luckily it's tax forfeit land again so someone put a trail they got it that actually goes right around the back side of this thing and that's how we're getting back in there now Yeah, here we are in uh, area 46 again. We're seeking out a new bait. I was in here last year during deer season. There was a ton of bear sign back in here, so we decided to come check it out, and sure enough, there's bear trails in here. They've been laying around some of the trees back here, clawing them up, marking its territory. Um, let's say this is, this is thick back in here. We got a nice little opening back in here. It's kind of... Opening. <laughs> it, it's somewhat of an opening. We kind of found a tree that's tucked on the edge of that opening so we can sneak a hunter in from the wheeler to that. But we're going to get the bait back in its thick stuff a little bit. And this is tax forfeited land so we can clear out some of the brush around the bait site and stuff like that. On federal land you can't do that. State land you're not supposed to do it. But tax forfeited you can. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to prep this spot. We're going to get a bait down in here. And um, hopefully within a couple days this thing's getting hit. I have a good feeling this is going to be a great new bait site for us. And it's way back in. I what was that? Five miles. It's something like that. Off the main four wheeler trail, mm -hmm. because we just followed an old logging trail back in here. And on tax forfeit, you can do that. So it was pretty darn thick getting back into this spot. I don't think we'll ever see another anybody else back in here. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, we're going to get this thing prepped and get it done. People often ask what is our most valuable tool we utilize when scouting. Well, when it comes to scouting, nothing will ever beat physically getting out there to see the area with your own eyes. Boots on the ground, my friends. In fact, our scouting periods go well beyond the actual baiting and bear season. In fact, late fall and early winter provide the perfect opportunity, especially as the foliage is off the trees, allowing us to observe the surroundings, habitat, and signs, which comes in handy for pinpointing key areas of focus for the following season. But, I will admit, before we even step into an area of interest, our first go-to is going to be our Onyx Hunt mobile app, which provides detailed topographic maps displaying a complete overlay of the land. It also includes property lines, landowner information. We are able to view what type of land we are on, be it county, state, or federal, which will allow us to determine what restrictions and regulations we may need to abide by for that area. It's also packed with GPS map tools such as setting waypoints, tracker settings, line distance, and so much more. Many of these functions are also usable as an offline map for times when you don't have cell service. So I will say Onyx is probably our most valuable tool. Definitely worth the investment of any serious hunter or outdoor enthusiast.
Boy, the woods this year is just full of these stickers. One thing that's not full of this year is acorns. There's some berries, the berries are kind of drying up a little bit, but there's not a lot of acorns. So I think there's going to be a lot of bear activity at these baits. Don't you dare jinx it. There was a lot of activity at the baits last year. Yeah, there was last year. <laughs> so about a week before season, those acorns are falling. But looking up in the trees this year, I mean, we're in an oak. There's tons of oaks in here. I'm looking up, I'm not seeing a ton of acorns on them. There's a few here and there, but nothing like last year. You jinx it. Yeah, I'm not going to jinx it. <laughs> not getting overly into it. So. We're going to sprinkle some of this. We got this bait set in here. Another thing I should say though, if, um, if you're out baiting and you got rain moving in, I really wouldn't waste your time doing a bunch of this scenting until after the rain goes through. We had rain yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we did scent a little bit, but it was mainly just getting bait set and areas ready to go. So this week, as it dries up, I'll actually start scenting every single bait pretty good. You know, you want, you want as many bear coming into your baits as possible. It just causes uh, more of a competition thing for them, so they... They're kind of all rushing in to get the bait. We've seen in the past you get uh, you get like one bear on a bait. Sometimes they'll just turn nocturnal, after, especially just a little bit of pressure. You walk in at the wrong time of day, especially after 5 o'clock in the evening. You can turn that bait nocturnal or even being in a stand um, just doing something make a little noise or something like that and that bear is laying around that bait site somewhere and hears that instantly he already knows there's danger in that area and he's more likely especially a bigger bear is not going to want to come in during daylight hours so with the bear problems we have at our place we're setting a bait on our own property we haven't done this in a long time but mainly for the fact is we didn't want the bears causing a problem at our house, but our little boy set a bait up by the house two seasons ago, and ever since we've started having bear come around in the yard. This year, I, I guess he went and threw out a little bait by his play set, and ever since he's done that, we have had nothing but bear in the yard. So we're putting up a bait right in the back of that property, and I do the same thing on public land. If you don't have trees around you, I'll go down the road and I'll find some, and we'll, uh, Cut up the logs and haul them on the floor with it just like this. So, trees that we want to cut, that is. Trees that we want to cut, yes. We have lots of trees around here, but yep. none that we want to take down. <laughs> so, we got this. We're going to get this bait set and we'll see what happens with the next couple days. I don't think, I think tonight this thing's going to get hit. So, let's get this one set. Well, we technically didn't have a close for this video, but nonetheless, season kickoff is in five days. Who's ready to see some bear photos on what's been coming in this season?
watching, guys. Say, we're going to keep more videos coming your way, and who knows what's going to be on them. So if you like what you just seen, want to see more, then join us along on all of our adventures by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget, get out there and break the chain of routine.